I'm not in the studio, as you can tell. I wanted to give you an update regarding Zillow's forecast for the coming year. Now, we all know the housing market has been going through its ups and downs in the past 12 months, where the market was extremely hot. But when interest rates kept going up, demand cooled off severely. And last November, interest rates got around 7%. And then the turn of the year happened and all of 2023 interest rates have been around a high sixes low sevens for the entire time now that is the polar opposite of what a year and a half ago when interest rates were in the threes fours and fives you have to hear this forecast because it even blew it even shocked me and i consider myself a moderate regarding the housing market zillow has shown to be a complete bull going into next year. If you don't know what that means, stick around because we're gonna get into it. Now Zillow predicts that 48 of the top 200 markets here in the United States will see an appreciation of above 7% in the next 12 months. That is absolutely insane. Coming off of the backs of the pandemic, where in the last three years, you've seen an over 40% increase in home values in the last three years. And they're saying within the next year, you're going to see an additional 7% increase in home values in 48 of the top 200 metros in our country. Now the average appreciation for a year is right around four to 5%. So 7% is a very hot market. And I believe it's very bullish. Now, I don't agree with everything Zillow is saying, but I do believe that the circumstances which surrounds the housing market that cause them to be very bullish do exist. So it would not surprise me if prices did go up. Now, I don't think they're going to go up 7%, but let's go on and talk about what Zillow also predicts for the rest of the country. From June 2023 to June 2024, Zillow predicts that Baton Rouge, Louisiana will go up 9.8% year over year and that Fayetteville, North Carolina will go up 8.7% year over year. Another number that shocked me was that they saw that Durham, Chapel Hill area of North Carolina will go up 7.3% from June 2023 to June 2024. And overall, as a country, they think home values will increase on average 6.3% nationally. Now again, normal appreciation for any given year in the housing market is anywhere from 4 to 5.3%. They're saying that the average for next year, even with these high interest rates, is going to be 6.3%. Now, the reason why they're calling for such an aggressive push in home equity is what I've been telling you for months now. The severely low supply of inventory, coupled with more formations of households, you're seeing more people, more millennials, more Gen Zs coming of age wanting to buy a home. Well, you get more people, more buyers into the market with still a limited number of homes for sale. That is going to cause prices to go up. When you think about the housing market, you have to think about human behavior. You can't just think about numbers like you would any other commodity. And whether you want to admit it or not, when humans get a certain age, they want to form families. And when they form a family, they want to have a foundation and buy a home. And that has more people in the market looking for homes, even in this high interest rate environment, well, high compared to what it was a year and a half ago or two years ago, you're still seeing people that are able, willing, and ready to buy. Even though that that demand is depressed, that demand is still much higher than the supply of homes available on the market. Until we get the inventory or supply demand equation under wraps, home prices and home values will continue shooting up because there's more formations of homes every single day and people looking to buy homes every single day. And in the article where it talked about the home appreciation that Zillow expects, they saw the greatest appreciation, at least what I noticed, in areas with right now presently average or median home prices for the country. We're not seeing the areas where home prices are already skyrocketed to an astronomical amount, seeing these eight, nine percent increases that Zillow are saying, but the average home is more along the line of the median home price here in our country. 
So people are going to flock to affordable areas and those affordable areas are gonna become unaffordable because it's gonna cause more demand and strain on the market, causing prices to go up. Now, real quick, now we'll get back to the video. I'll wrap it up shortly, but I want you to see these views of Manhattan right now. Zillow also thinks that home prices have bottomed, meaning we will not see a housing crash. They believe home prices bottomed earlier this year in February. So if they're correct, home prices will remain flat and or go up. And as we see, they're predicting the home prices will go up 6.3% year over year from this June to next June. Now, Zillow's not alone thinking that home prices have bottomed. Four Logic and the AEI Housing Center also believe that home prices have bottomed, while other data firms think that home prices still have a little bit to give, such as Moody's Analytica and Morgan Stanley. They think prices will go down a little bit as we get into the fall and winter months. Now, me personally, I think that that is what's going to happen. Demand is going to fall off the cliff in the winter months, which they typically does every single fall and winter. Home prices drop. And I think that's no different this year right now, because we saw that last year where the beginning of the year, the first half of 2022, we were on pace to have 10% appreciation year over year. But we ended up finishing the year right around five. So you saw home prices dip toward the second half of the year. And I think that's what's going to happen this year as well, especially if interest rates remain high. Now, if, if interest rates go down, who knows? Home prices may go to the moon, but if interest rates remain elevated, I believe that's going to have a huge impact on demand, especially because if people can choose, nobody really wants to move during the fall and winter and during the holidays. Only people that are moving during that time are people that have to move or people that are looking for a very good deal. So if you're looking to buy a home and have been priced out of the market and couldn't get your offer accepted, the fall and winter times when less people are looking and motivated sellers are selling is an opportunity for you to step in and get your offer considered if not accepted so while i think home prices will go down in the second half of the year do i think they're going to crash no i don't think they're going to crash they're going to go down anywhere from three to seven percent but i don't see that as a crash if you have any questions regarding the housing market don't hesitate to reach out to me i am sir ashley your real estate advisor all the contact information is in the description below. I look forward to hearing from you. Talk soon.